Welcome back to another video. This will be about last for edges, um, especially fundamentals and how I do them. So there are three main types of fundamentals, which are size of slice, cycles, and m point to m. The first fundamental is a cycle. You can see if you do a cycle if the outer rings are on different layers. And it's the most efficient option because it solves three pieces. How you do it is you, so you take one edge out that doesn't have the pieces for the cycle. In this case we do blue and yellow. And then you slice and replace the edge with the other edge. The next fundamental is a cusp slice. This is a simple variation where you just slice flip and slice. This solves two pieces and it's very good because it can immediately solve an edge using that. The last fundamental is um, in m point m. You can recognize it by the outer rings being together in one edge slot and the middle edge is right next to it and on the same face they have the same color. Here is red and here is also red. You water it do an M prime, U to M, and if you do Yao to make the cross edge correct again, you do U to at the end. Okay, so now there are cases that um, are like in between things. So for example here, this looks like a cycle case because like those two edges match up, but the other edge is on the same layer as the other edge or wing edge. So when you slice, it doesn't match up. So in this case, I would just do a slice slice with a right move. So the other layer gets sliced away. In this case, um, because the I'm right-handed, so I flip with my right hand, I will do a three right prime. So the edge that needs to get flipped is on the right side, then I flip and it's solved. Now I also have this case, which is like an m from to m case, which in orange and yellow here, but when you but on the same face, they have um not the same color, so the so they are the same orientation. So when you slice them together, they match up. In this case, you also do a cycle, you take one edge out, slice them together, and then replace. The next case is like an m from to m, but in last three edges, so you can just um rotate like this because this edge is solved and do an m to m so when you do that this edge gets solved but the other edge gets destroyed so it basically didn't do anything in this case you can do this like uh, r white and l white prime but um, there's a better solution because if you noticed you do an f you do f moves but instead you can do u moves if you do a U2 first, right here, M prime, U2 M, so um, those two are on the back, and now they have the same orientation, but the cross is not done correctly anymore, so when you slice them together like this, they will be solved. There's also a case that nothing is paired up on 505, here you have two options, the first option is doing rotation and then M prime to M. And then you have always something to work with. For example, here is slice by slice with green and yellow, or a cycle with green and orange, or with blue and orange. For example, here I will do green and orange because it solves two two edges. Um, because when I slice back here, the blue and yellow piece will solve. The other option is to do what's really cool because. Um, you can always do it because um, you have four edge dots and three edge pieces on one edge. So you can always do one cycle to complete an edge. For example, here I have green and yellow, here, here, and here, because they have the same orientation. So I take this edge out, slice them together, and slice back. And then you have basically a much better case. And here, I do this and then 
Sauf que tu te So in this last for edge example, there are multiple things that we could do. For example, here, blue and orange. This is the slice by slice case. Or here, green and orange. This is the cycle case. Because cycles solve three pieces and slice by slice two pieces, it's usually more efficient to do the cycle. So we do it. We take one edge out. We place, and now we have this one. Once again, we could do this slice slice case that we saw before, but here green and um, green and yellow is also again a cycle case. So because this is more like a beginner to little advanced tutorial, um, we should do something that makes our life afterwards easier. In this case, when we do a slice by slice right here for blue and orange, afterwards we would have to do a slice by slice again to, do, to have parity. So we would do, so I'll show you here, I do this. And now I have this parity case, which is not a standard arc. So we do this cycle. Then we have our standard parity case.